Hey guys, it's Matt the Woodshed Barber, and before we get into this video, I want to remind you guys about the giveaway I'm doing. So, the grand prize winner is a brand new Andis Emerge, and the runner-up is getting the purple OG Zero Guard from Andis. So, if you guys are interested in that, click in my profile, go to my video that said Andis Emerge Giveaway, comment in the section below, hashtag step up in that video, okay? It's important that it's in that video. Then subscribe to my channel, subscribe to my Instagram. That's all you got to do. The, uh, the contest, as far as uh, entries, closes on the night of March 5th. And March 6th, I'm going to be announcing the giveaway. So, guys, thank you so much for watching. And without further ado, let's get into the video. So yes, the thumbnail showed you what this is about. This is about a long time coming review for me because everybody seems to have already had this clipper. But I finally just decided to edge my way towards it and got the JRL. I got the JRL 2020C Onyx. And this is my first JRL tool. Let me just go ahead and say that. First JRL tool. And there's a lot of things I love about this clipper. Let's start unpacking. Pop the hood. Two JZ engine, no shit. So the power of the JRL Onyx. Well, or 2020CB Onyx. A lot of letters, a lot of stuff for that. Actually, I think the original name, let me see. The original name is the FF2020C-B Onyx. Man, pick, a, pick a simpler name, guys. Just call it the Onyx. Anyway. Uh, plenty of power for this thing. It does have a charging base, which of course you guys know I really heavily appreciate. It's, uh, it's got two speeds, which for a adjustable clipper is very rare to find. So two speeds. I did clock them in with the RPMs. So the lowest speed was clocking in for me barely under 6,000 RPMs. And the highest speed right around or barely under 6,800 RPMs. But the most impressive thing about the power is how smooth and quiet this clipper is. You guys ready for this? Okay. So it's on right now. This is the lowest setting. It's on right now. I just put it to the second highest setting. It is so quiet. This is the quietest clipper made that I have found at least. What's more impressive is battery life. At the highest speed, it's got four hours. At the lowest speed, it's got five. It's, it's, what's crazy is having that amount of battery life, having that amount of dedication to having a quiet tool. And I mean, look, it's not the most powerful clipper. In my personal opinion, I would put this as being more of a, a fading slash finesse clipper. I am not gonna debulk with this thing. And it could just be because of the blade. Now, I do like the blade for touch-up work for, for you know finishing a fade. I don't like it for debulking. Um, I did put a wider tooth blade on here and I still didn't like it. So I would say that this right here is gonna be your and clipper. Like you have your main debulking clipper, then you have this thing to do the finish work. That's my opinion. So it's not the most powerful, but the what it does offer is impressive. So because of that, I'm gonna give this a 7.5 out of 10. Well, the blade is very much kind of like exactly like the Faber blade. Let's be real. That's that's what it is. However, what it does have and what it started doing before Babeless did. So what it does is it has these pockets in the blade that hold excess oil. So it keeps it running smoother. Now, is that why it's so quiet? I don't think so. Because I put a non, you know, pocketed blade on there and it was still just as quiet. So, but I mean, it's a very good blade. It doesn't do anything special. I, I don't, I haven't seen the value of that technology fully displayed yet. I, I've not seen it make a, a massive difference, but because of the innovation and the, the want to, I, I'm gonna give it, I'm gonna give it a nine. 
Uh, without the innovation, I'd probably say eight. But I'm gonna give it a nine just for trying. So on the blade, nine out of 10. You're in dire need of an upgrade. Systemic, top to bottom, 100 point restoration. The design of the JRL Onyx, well, it's got a very familiar design, but not for the reason you think. So whenever I see, whenever I first saw the bevel trimmer, uh, I saw this as well. That's it's all kind of the same leaning design. And honestly, it doesn't make me think of anything to do with barbering. For those of you who don't know, I spent seven years as a music pastor. Nah. -uh. And so whenever I see a tool like this, it makes me think of a microphone because that's kind of the ergonomics of it is it's not really ergonomic for barbering but for holding like this or like this it's it feels like a microphone the design's interesting it is copied like i said off the bevel but it, it's not uncomfortable in the hand i will say this little flat hook spot right here does make it a more suitable clipper shape the click lever is super smooth and uh, the lower part is a little bit of a fingerprint magnet, but the upper part, you know, it's got this nice, uh, nice soft coating. I'll be, I'll be real with you guys. I think the design on this thing is, it's, it's thoughtful. It's interesting. The fact that it has there, right there, pop out of nowhere. It has that screen that you don't see whenever it's off and, oh, now you do. I like how the JRL lights up. It's a, it's a beautiful clipper, beautiful tool. Feels very premium. And I would say design man i'm gonna i'm gonna go this is a 9.5 out of 10. this is a beautifully designed clipper yeah, because the way that my bank account is set up the thing is i gotta check it in the savings but all my money is in the savings the price of the jrl onyx well that that's that's where it gets a little bit to where i'm not sure if it's exactly worth it 200 dollars around you know 199 you may see it for 185 you may see it up to to 209 but I got mine, I think it was 199. Yeah, so $200 pretty much. And do I think it's worth it? Um, me personally, I do not like the guards that came with it. It does come with a charging base. It doesn't have any secondary uh, charging capacity, even though it does come with a nice little tuck away hook for those of you who want that. I, I really don't care about it, but it's, it's fine. Is it worth that though? I'd feel differently if it went through bulk, but it does not. So I'm going to say that for the price of this thing, that's about a, maybe a seven or a six. If this clipper was maybe $30 cheaper, I might agree with the pricing, but let's go with a, a seven out of 10. They've done studies, you know, 60% of the time it works every time. Performance. So like I said about the power section of my review, it, it doesn't go through everything. That's the only, only gripe I've got about this tool is that it's, it's very much a one to two use tool. It's not your be all end all clipper. But what I got out of it, I really enjoyed using this clipper. It's very, very, very smooth running, very quiet. Like I said, I mean, honestly, I could have this running for probably the entire time and it not be an issue. Matter of fact, decibel wise, I don't know if you guys care about decibel readings, but my, the ambient room of my shop is around 41 decibels, which is kind of the way most, you know, quiet rooms are. My conversation, like my, my speech is probably around 72, 73 decibels. This thing runs at 61 decibels. That's pretty crazy. Uh, whenever I put it on the highest speed, the most I could get out of it is 64 decibels. I mean, it's just, it's a quiet, quiet clipper. And so, I overall score, I'm going to give this thing a 9.5 for the simple fact that it does so many things uniquely well. But because I just didn't bond with it, which is a personal thing, that's personal. I'm not saying that this is a bad tool at all. I'm not going to be keeping it. It's, it's... It's not my thing. So it does not have a permanent home on my station, but I do understand the, the, the amount of people who like it. So many people commented on my sections and said, dude, do the JRL Onyx, look at it, you know, check that out, review that. And so I felt like I had to, and I get it. It's a very good clipper. It's just not for me. 
As far as final thoughts go, I would say I like the direction that these companies are going. They're, they're trying new things. They're trying to, to be different in their own way. Everything from the shape to the feel to the sound to the fact that it's a two-speed clipper for an adjustable. I mean, that's, that's a pretty cool little add-on. Uh, I like the way things are going with this. So I am looking forward to seeing more things from JRL. I think that the kind of innovation they are doing is it's slow but purposeful. They're not like Stylecraft just busting out, you know, 20 tools a year. They, you know, they're very purposeful with where they're headed. And I can heavily appreciate that. So I'd say if, if you're interested in a very quiet, different clipper than you've ever used before, this right here might be the one for you. Uh, well, guys, thank you so much for watching. Please click that like button, subscribe, comment down below. Uh, don't forget about the contest. It ends on March 5th, announced on March 6th. So please uh, click that like button, subscribe, and you know keep those comments humble and kind. And as always, guys, I'll check you on the next one.